Hello, my name is Clint Rowland with BK Technologies, and today we're going to go over how to keypad program your radio in the field. This training class can apply to the KNG, KNG2, or our new BKR5000 as demonstrated. When programming radios in the field, it is important to make sure that you do not program any frequencies you are not authorized to transmit on. Most times when programming in the field, you will be provided with a list of frequencies to be programmed. Your list may look something like this. Here we can see a list of channels, their aliases or names, their receive frequencies, the receive PL tone or code guard, the receive NAT code, the transmit frequency, the transmit PL tone or code guard, and the transmit NAT code. With this information, we'll program these channels into our BKR5000. To begin, let's press the menu button and access the keypad programming menu. To access the keypad programming menu, you can either hit next and cycle through the menu, or it's always at the end of the menu. So if you're beginning at one like I am, you can hit previous and it will cycle around to keypad programming. We're now gonna press enter and enter the default password of six zeros and press enter. You may see other options here other than keypad, but for the sake of this class and demonstration, we are just going to select keypad. From here, you see global, system, and zone, and channel. Under global, we can edit the display parameters and how each line of the display is configured. Under system, we can edit the unit ID or the priorities for the system. Under zone, we can add, edit, or delete zones. And under channels, we can add, edit, or delete channels. For the sake of this demonstration, let's begin by adding a zone. We scroll to zone and press enter. Scroll to add zone, press enter. And now we're asked if we want to add a standard or command zone. In this case, we want to add a standard zone. Zone five has been added. Let's edit the zone we just added. We go to edit zone, press enter, and then we scroll to the zone that we wish to edit. In this case, zone five. Here we're gonna edit our label to match the label we've been assigned in our lab, lab. Oh, I messed that letter up. There we are. We'll hit escape here. Escape again, escape again, and now we can select channel to add channels to our zone. We'll go to add channel. Now we must select the zone we wish to add our channel to. In this case, zone five, our lab, our lab zone. From here, we're gonna enter the channel index. This is where the channel will be found on the knob position. So I'm going to input one, or adding channel one. I'm gonna press enter to add another channel. Scroll down to our lab zone. Select two to add channel two. Press enter to add another channel. Go down to the lab zone and press 16. Now that I've added my three channels, let's edit them. Let's scroll up to edit. Let's select the zone the channels are in. And now we can see the three zones we added, channel one, channel two, and channel 16. Let's press enter to edit channel one, and let's begin at the channel label. I'll hit clear and type in fire. Press enter. I will go to the receive frequency mode. I'll press clear and type in 155725. Press enter. Go to my receive mode, analog, digital, or mixed. I look here and I see that this channel has been assigned an RX PL tone or an RX code guard. This means that this channel is an analog channel. I'll go down to my receive card, my receive guard, 
select tone, hit clear, and now I have to type in 77 hertz. But you'll see that it's a three-digit number, so I have to type in 077 and press enter. Next, I'll go to my bandwidth. This should always be narrow band. My transmit power, high is good. My transmit frequency, I'll press clear and type in 155725 and press enter. I can scroll down to my transmit mode. I have a PL tone on my transmit, so that means it's analog. My transmit guard, I will set under tone, clear, 077. My DTMF live dial is fine, and if I hit next again, I'll take back to channel label, meaning I've gone through all of the items. This channel is done. I'll hit escape, scroll down to channel 2 to edit it, and press enter. We'll start with the channel label. We hit clear. We'll type in LE. Enter. We'll go to our receive frequency. Clear. 1544525. Enter. We go to our receive mode. We notice here I do not have a PL tone, but I do have a NAC code. The NAC is indicative of a digital channel. So we'll select digital. Next, we'll go down to our NAT code, select enter and clear. You'll notice that the NAC is a hexadecimal number, meaning that it has alphanumeric numbers. A, hit next. Enter. Squelch mode is normal is fine. Transit power, high is good. Transmit frequency, we'll hit clear. We'll type in one five four four five two five. We'll do transmit mode. We'll have a NAT code here, so we'll select digital. Go to our transmit NAC. Hit enter, clear, one, A, next, two. Our talk group ID, one is fine. Our DTMF live dial is fine, and if I press next again, I switch back to channel label, and this channel is done. I'll hit escape, go down to channel 16, and program our last channel of the day. I'll go to my channel label, hit clear. And then I will use my zero key to get a space. And then the number one. Go to our frequency, clear. One, five, nine, four, seven, two, five. We'll go to receive mode. Here you notice that I have a PL tone even though it's a DPL or digital PL tone. So just because I have a PL tone, that also means I'm in analog mode even though it's a DPL. And when I go down to my guard here, you'll notice that I have digital to select. And then here I have my DPL tone for 270. I'll hit clear and type in 270. Enter. My bandwidth should always be narrow band. Transmit power, high is good. Transmit frequency, we'll clear this out. 1594725. We'll go down to my transmit mode. I have a PL tone, even though it's a DPL, that means I'm analog. I'm gonna go down my tone guard, select digital, two, 
seven zero. DTMF live dial is okay. I hit next. I'm back to channel label. I am now done programming my radio. So we can either hit escape and go out of the menus like such, or we can press and hold escape and take us all the way out to the front. Here I can press my zone select button and I can scroll down to the zone I just added. And here you see the fire channel that I added. The LE channel that I added. And there's the MA on position 16. This concludes our keypad programming for the BKR5000, KNG2, and KNG. I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be notified of more great content like this video you've just watched.